You're listening to Power Praise 88.5 WJFM. It's Christmas Day, 1996. 516 right now. Here's music from Mike Boyd, proclaiming the truth to Baton Rouge and the surrounding areas. It's Christmas time for all of us. It's Christmas time, you see. It's Christmas time for all of us. It's here for you and me. There's a special day that comes once a year. Celebration for us all to give our gifts and all of our love to everyone big and small. It's Christmas time for all of us. It's Christmas time, you see. It's Christmas time for all of us. It's here for you and me. Christ was born when men's soul was set free and all we have to know and believe is he will meet our need it's Christmas time for all of us it's Christmas time you see a time to celebrate God's love through all Eternity. You know, listen, if you could get what you wanted for Christmas, what would it be? I want to grow up in a world that is safe. I want people to stop fighting and I want them to start loving each other. The stars shone bright in Bethlehem as a child slipped through the night. Everyone knew that because of him, the future for man was bright. As we sit around telling Christmas tales, remember one and all that today is the day our Savior was born, and we should say a prayer. It's Christmas time for all of us. It's Christmas time, you see A time to celebrate God's love Through all eternity It's Christmas time for all of us It's Christmas time, you see It's Christmas time for all of us It's here for you Go 
Listening to Power Praise 88.5 WJFM. I'm John Santiago. 524 here in this Christmas day, 1996. And I just hope that you're being blessed by it. I hope that you're with your friends and family. And if you're not, that's all right. Because remember, Jesus Christ is always with you. He said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. I have my last uh, Christmas prize giveaway that I'm going to be giving away right now. And what I want to, I'm going to wait for caller number seven. And you may think, wow, why are you waiting for such a caller? Well, because it's such a good prize. I like to talk to more people. The more people I get to talk to, the better. So, what I have here is, first of all, the book on Christmas from Evangelist Jimmy Swaggart, the WJFM keychain with the key ring on it, also the Power Praise bumper sticker. But what I have here that I know that you'll really be blessed by is a six tape teaching series from Evangelist Jimmy Swaggart entitled Walking in the Spirit. Walking in the Spirit. Uh, it, it's tremendous. I've heard, I've listened, I have this myself. You know, it, it's all the scriptural insights that you'll need to walk that walk with Christ that's fulfilling. It's a six tape teaching series for you right now. All I'm waiting for is caller number seven to just give me a call and let us know how you're being blessed on this 1997 Christmas day. Hallelujah. And I just, I hope that all of you are being blessed out there right now. And you know, if you know somebody who's in need, somebody who needs prayer, please call it 768-3688. If you want to wish somebody a very Merry Christmas right now this evening, call us 768-FM88. The phone lines are now open. But remember, I'm waiting for caller number seven. So if you're caller number seven, you're the winner of that six tape teaching series called Walking in the Spirit, the book on Christmas, the WJFM bumper sticker, and the WJFM. FM keychain, all yours just for being caller number seven, right here on 88.5 WJFM. If I could give you anything for Christmas, it would be wrapped in arms from Calvary. If I could give you anything for Christmas. Today to try to find a way to tell you how special you are to me. Then I heard you didn't know of God's grace found in your soul. So this year I give a gift most dear. Share with you a cry. 
Music from Wayne Watson and the Angel Medley, right here on 88.5. WJFM 533 here in Greater Baton Rouge. Merry Christmas from all of us here at WJFM. holiday music right after this. Happy holidays from your station of Gospel Variety. Hi, this is Kenny Fleming, one of the announcers here at WJFM. The Bible tells us in Galatians chapter 4, but when the right time came, the time God decided on, he sent his son, born of a woman, born as a Jew, to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law so that he could adopt us as his very own sons. Isaiah said, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. At this time of year, we want to say thank you, we want to say Merry Christmas, and we want to say Happy Birthday to Jesus Christ. He is the reason for the season. As so many people get caught up in the commercialization of this time, we want to remember that it's better to give and to receive. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave. The present that he gives you is Jesus Christ, his only son. All you need to do is receive him, and I promise you that Jesus Christ will make a difference. It'll be the best Christmas that you've had. From my family to yours, this is Kenny Flaming on behalf of my wife Tammy, my daughter Katie, my daughter Rebecca, my daughter Rachel, and and, Kendra. and I couldn't forget you. That's my daughter Kendra. From our family to yours, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The greatest story ever told. Now concerning the birth of Jesus, Caesar Augustus, the Roman emperor, decreed that a census should be taken throughout the nation. 
everyone was required to return to his ancestral home for this registration. And because Joseph was a member of the royal line, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, King David's ancient home, journeying there from the Galilean village of Nazareth. He took with him Mary, his fiancée, who was obviously pregnant by this time. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born, and she gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the village inn. That night, some shepherds were in the fields outside the village, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel appeared among them, and the landscape shone bright with the glory of the Lord. They were terribly frightened, but the angel reassured them, saying, Do not be afraid. I bring you the most joyous news ever announced, and it is for everyone. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born tonight in Bethlehem. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, with peace on earth and goodwill towards men. He was born to die for our sins, so that in him we might live forever. He took on the form of a man, that all who trust in him might partake of the nature of God. The Apostle Paul wrote, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, for your sakes he became poor, so that you through his poverty might become rich. And at Christmas 1996, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Your source for gospel music in the River City. First Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields where they lay, in fields where they lay, keeping their sheep on a cold winter night that was so deep. No.
Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year right here on WJS. It's time for the Overcomers program from Voice of the Martyrs. Believers experience God's protection in the midst of fierce persecution. Returning home after services one day, a group of Christians in southern Mexico found their way blocked. Local tribal leaders had rolled boulders into the road. When believers left their cars to move the boulders, they were ambushed by gunfire. Yet after 20 minutes of shooting, none of the Christians were hurt. For 30 years, mobster-like leaders have used similar tactics. Their goal is to remove the Christians by threats or by death. Thousands have been forced to leave their land and homes, yet many persevere. Recently, a determined group of nearly 600 Christians decided to return to their homes. Even though several have already been killed, the rest are not deterred. The Christian witness in their towns is growing as they act in faith. God watches over his children in every corner of the world. Find out how suffering Christians are protected by God. Call 1-800-345-1600 for more information. That's 1-800-345-1600. Christ our Lord, the only reason for the season. You're listening to WJFM 88.5 FM, Baton Rouge. WJFM. It is 6 o'clock. My name is John Santiago, and it's been a great day with you. Great afternoon as we move into this Christmas Day evening. Oh, that's good. Christmas Day evening. Uh, Dave Stone is coming up. He's going to be with you up until midnight tonight. And uh, I just want to tell you on behalf of myself and all my family, my children, and all of us here at WJFM, I just want to extend a very Merry Christmas. May you have a Christ-centered Christmas Day. And I uh, love you all, and it's great to, great to be with you this afternoon. we got more prizes coming up, more holiday music, so I hope that you're with your families and just enjoying this blessed day in the Lord, Christmas Day 1996. And we're glad that you're spending it with us here at WJFM, your station of praise. And I'm going to leave you with a song that, uh, it's not a Christmas song, but it's a song that we debuted in uh, during Christmas last year. And uh, ever since then, we've been having request after request after request for it. And uh, we're going to get back to more holiday music but this is something from the reverend fc barnes because remember it was a great thing when jesus christ saved your soul listen to the song and let it bless you the lord had brought me through all of my trials and when i fell Dog. Yeah.
Yes, it was a great thing, hallelujah, that he did for us. Good evening, David Stone, with you here on this Christmas Day. Just wishing you the merriest, happiest Christmas in the Lord. I had a wonderful day today, was invited over to some friend's house, uh, and we just had a wonderful time. We sang some Christmas uh, songs, and we, uh, we just expressed the love of God and the love of Christ to one another. And uh, to me, that's very special. I'm far, far from my family uh, being down here in Louisiana, but that's okay because uh, Jesus is with us wherever we go. And Christ really needs to be the center of our Christmas, and Christ was the center of my Christmas day. And I'm rejoicing in that, and he'll continue be, to be the center of my Christmas day and every other day. So we just want to encourage you and... Uh, just wish you the very, very happiest Christmas in the Lord. You're listening to 88.5 WJFM. You know, you don't need money to offer the Lord anything. If you offer him your heart, then we all have something. Here's a little tale about a little boy. All he had was just a little drum. Truly be 
our search to find the truth We turn so many musty pages In our hope to find some clue Then the words left from the parchment From Jacob shines a star That a wordless one who is the word Will be worth the journey far The night inside our hearts Then the star tore through the darkness And like an angel shone To guide us to that one true light Who became flesh and bone Secret syllables and hushed our wisest words. In the silence of the stable, there was wisdom. Hi, this is John Santiago, and it's Christmas time once again. It's a time when loved ones gather near and family and friends get together and commemorate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to take some time right now to give you some information that I feel will bless you. Did you know that the use of holly and Christmas decorations is symbolically connected to Christianity? The red berries represent the drops of blood that Christ shed for us at Calvary. The pointed leaves commemorate the crown of thorns in which he wore. And the leaves with their flaming color remind Christians of their scorching love for God, the same that was in the heart of Mary. The earliest symbolism of holly predates Christianity though, representing the burning bush in which God appears to Moses. Something to think about, isn't it? So the next time you look at a Christmas holly wreath, remember what it stood for, the price that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ paid for us that we may be redeemed, saved, and set free. Merry Christmas, and may God richly bless you. Keep his name on your lips throughout this whole holiday season. Yes, Merry Christmas and God bless you. David Stone with you here. It's about 15 minutes after the hour of six. We have a rebroadcast of a, a previous program with evangelist Jimmy Swaggart coming up at 6.30. Keep it right here on your Christmas station of praise. <laughs> 